What's up? I'm Simon and I want to introduce you to the auto apps. So what are the auto apps? The auto apps are task app plugins. So even if they come with an auto interface and therefore seem to be standalone apps, they aren't. They are really just task app plugins. So if you want them to work, you need Tasker. But I'll cover Tasker in another video. The auto apps expand the functionality of Tasker to nearly anything. But you can't do a Tasker itself you can easily do it with the auto apps. So, if you now ask, how can I get the auto apps? It's very easy. Just head over to Google Play, to the Play Store, and download the auto apps hub. Just search for auto apps, as you see here. The auto apps hub acts as a place where you can buy, open, and unlock all the apps. But you have also access to beta and alpha, apps as well as pre-made profiles. If you just want to buy one specific auto app, which I can't really understand by the way, you can just do this by searching for that app, for example, auto notification and um, open auto notification and download it. And then buy it with an in-app purchase. If you then decide to use more than one app. Don't worry, just download the Auto Apps Hub and it will recognize the in-app purchase you did before directly in that app. So now let's open the Auto Apps Hub. As you see here, I've got almost any Auto App installed except of AutoCast, Auto Pebble and Auto Vera which you can easily see on those grayed out symbols. So to download AutoCast, for example, just click on it and it redirects you to the Play Store where you can easily install it. After installing, just go back to the Auto Apps and then you see AutoCast is recognized as an installed app. Now you can open it just by clicking on the symbol again, but now the app opens instead of the Google Play Store. So let's discover the Auto Apps Hub a little bit further. There are several sections in the app, which you can see here in the menu on the side. You've got the Auto Apps, which you've already seen where you see all your installed auto apps. You've got beta apps. The beta apps are the normal auto apps but with beta access so you can easily test new experimental features. Just click on one app and you get directed to a web page where you can sign up as a tester to test that specific app and then you should receive normal updates. Next up are the alpha apps. The alpha apps aren't really apps that are supposed to work. They are just apps to show users what will come in the near future. So don't expect anything from those apps they are just to play around. So and the auto apps are only accessible if you have subscribed. You can subscribe by going to the subscribe section. And here you've got the possibility to subscribe monthly, subscribe yearly or subscribe monthly with additional support. If you've subscribed you also have to be part of the Google Plus alpha community which you can do with the G plus alpha sign right on the top. And then you also have to register as a tester and then you can download them. So the next section is projects. There you find a lot of task projects you can easily download and import. There are two ways to download them. 
One way is you've already subscribed and then you get all those projects for free. Or the other way is to buy each project with a low in-app purchase. So I am a subscriber, so I just search one project that I want to use. For example, set remote variable. I click on it, it will download. After the download is complete, you have to carefully read that pop-up because it tells you whether it's a profile, a project or a task. And therefore you have to import it different. You have also the possibility to read a little explanation and to watch the YouTube video just by clicking those icons. So this was the first look at the other apps. Please let me know which app you want to see first in the comments down below. Also use the comments to give me feedback or to ask me questions because I want to do a video every two weeks where I'll answer those comments, those questions. So thanks for watching and see you later.